Hi guys, today I'm here to share a very exciting haul. Every haul is exciting, but this one is extra exciting because I have never tried these products before. I placed an order from Makeup Geek a little while back. I haven't really used the products that much, um, but I wanted to just show you exactly what I got. Just disclaimer, I didn't get any of the foiled eyeshadows. I'm so mad at myself. I totally chickened out at the cash and I was like, you know what? I don't need it. I've got tons of plenty, beautiful and metallic eyeshadows and I didn't order any of the foiled eyeshadows what's wrong with me i placed the order with um, my youtube buddy making up ashley and she got two of the foiled eyeshadows and as soon as we got the package i was like samantha good one anyways i do love everything that i got so i'm going to show you exactly what i got and show you some swatches and give you my thoughts so the first things i'm going to show you are the eyeshadows i got i got them in the single pan because they're cheaper and i'm just going to fill up my mac palette with it a lot of these as well are mac dupes so if any of them are mac dupes i will leave them down below the first one that i definitely know is a mac dupe is this one here it's called cosmopolitan i'm wearing it on my eyes right now and this is a dupe for mac expensive pink which i was going to buy um, but then i heard makeup geek was exactly the same and they're only 5.99 if you're in canada shipping's about seven dollars which is actually pretty good if i say compare to color pop which does it by weight and it gets really expensive and I also wasn't charged customs with these like I was with ColourPop. Still love ColourPop, but this is just a little bit harder or a little bit easier to deal with on the way of shipping. Um, but this is a beautiful kind of pinky gold color. I love it on my lids. It is so brightening. It is so beautiful. Um, and I'm so happy that I got this one. This is basically why I placed placed the order. The next shade I got is a beautiful warm mid-tone brown called Frappe. Basically, I'm just trying to fill up my MAC palette so that I can travel with it. It has every kind of shadow in it that I need. So some of these are kind of basic, but I got the shade Frappe. I am wearing this in my crease today with another one of the shadows, and these are super soft. Um, they come in like this little single packaging here too and you can kind of see through on the back similar to MAC packaging, and they're just amazing quality shadows. I mean, Marlena is obviously a youtuber and she knows what's up this is one of their new shades they came out with like four i think of their single pan eyeshadows in some new colors this one is in the shade poppy and it is kind of a ready orange which i'm obsessed with right now um it is like almost like a lighter version of max lady danger in a lip in a eyeshadow and in my ColourPop to check it ready with me I mentioned that that tonic blush was like lady danger in a blush so this is the <laughs> this is the eyeshadow equivalent so obviously I'm obsessed with ready oranges right now um, this is gonna be gorgeous I can't wait to do a, a look with this I haven't used it yet then the next shade is something kind of different for me um, but since I got the Lorac Pro 2 which has some cooler shades in it, I've been kind of playing with cooler eye looks and this is kind of somewhere in between a really cool shadow and something that has a little bit of warmness to it it is in the shade moon dust and it's kind of a metallic color um, and I've really really been liking wearing this surprisingly I didn't think that I would ever wear like cool toned eyeshadows um, but it's just kind of a matter of like what else you do on your face to make it all look cohesive because you can't really wear like all warm colors and then have these kind of shades on your eyes well you can I mean there's no rules but for me anyways that's just what looks the best so that one I love and then the last shade this one is crazy it is the black and it's in the shade corrupt and I was scared because it had it has a little bit of shimmer in it and I just wanted a plain Mac black but I didn't want a matte black but I didn't want to get max carbon but it doesn't show up at all when you use it. I also use this in my crease today. It is so pigmented. This is like the most pigmented eyeshadow I've ever used. And blacks are hard to get done really, really well. So I just tapped my brush in a little bit. Then I tapped it off. And then as, when I put it in my crease, I was like, whoa, daddy. Like, this is a serious black color so this is something that I think everybody needs in their collection whether you're using blacks in the crease all the time you want to set an eyeliner um, and it's just an important color I think to have it's just one of those staple colors basically um, and yeah I really really like that so that's everything I got in the way of single eyeshadows and then the last item I got is one of their pigments which comes in one of these little boxes here oh on top of that the foiled eyeshadows they come in a box like this but it's rose gold metallic which I think made me the most sad, which is stupid because packaging affects me way too much. Um, but this is kind of a black gold pigment, super pigmented. Um, I saw a lot of people using this for like New Year's Eve looks a while back. I know Nicole Guerrero did a New Year's Eve look with this and it doesn't have like a sifter. It's got like a little hole in it that you can kind of, that has like a blocker on this side and you can kind of put it out into this and then use it. Haven't used this yet either because I haven't really 
had the occasion to do like a super dramatic black gold smoky eye but I cannot wait to put this to use um, so yeah that's everything I got from Makeup Geek let me know if you tried them down below if you're in Canada and you just kind of have been debating it because of shipping I totally suggest you do shipping came really really fast and it was only like $7.95 um, which isn't bad and if you can be like me and find a makeup hoarding friend in your city and then you guys can kind of split costs because that's what me and making up Ashley have been doing which is dangerous but also amazing and cost effective if you ask me so let me know if you have any suggestions of what I should pick up down below especially those foiled eyeshadows I'm kicking myself so probably gonna place another order sooner than later thank you so much for watching if you'd like to connect with me you can find me on Instagram and Twitter at Samantha Jane YT I'll see you guys next time bye